what happened at the New Orleans. Hi guys, and I'm so sorry that I haven't been here be doing videos. I just needed to find something to do a video on, and my computer has been on such a delay. But today I decided to do a mini sewing machine review. Now this isn't the sewing machine from like Walmart, and it's like um, purple, and it's a little bit bigger than this one. But it's by Soulcraft Mini, and it's um, by the brand Tools, I guess. But I'll show you all of that later in the video. Um, I just wanted to give a few disclaimers. I'm not trying to brag. I want to do a review on it just in case. If I do some DIYs, pillowcases, or something, I can have something to sew with until I get an actual bigger sewing machine. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and let's just get started. Okay, so this is the box. I have already opened it. I've already sewn on it, but I still wanted to give you a review of things that you can actually find this to look for and go buy it. So, um, it says it's new and improved instructions in here, which is good. So, I guess they had a line before this one. Um, so, yeah. So... It's, it says Soul Craft Mini Features. It's two in one, meaning it's a handheld or desk sewing machine. It, fit, it can fix, mend, or sew on craft projects in seconds. Use instead of big bulky machine. I, ideal for crafting students, offices, or at home. Lightweight, compact, and completely portable. ACDC. Operation requires four AA batteries, AC ap adapter not included. So meaning the charger that comes with it is not included. That's alright. That's why you can actually use batteries instead of a charger, which I will show you that later. So this is the box. As it say, you can use it for fun little projects. You can even make pillows with it. As long as it's not a big old heavy fabric. Like I saw these the front of these shorts as a um outline. But like as long as it's not thick. As long as it's not thick um, fabric, you can actually sew quite well with it. So I had to get a little practice before I show you on um, here. That's why I've already used it. Um, so I just sewed some outlines of shorts. But um, yeah, so this is how it looks. But I'm going to get even closer. Open this. it comes with the machine it comes with it, some instructions I actually can't find the batteries that I bought for it it's somewhere I think it's like in my backpack but they're somewhere so let me go find those okay so you can use any batteries of course as long as they're double A so my dad just bought me the um, 10 years guarantee okay anyway um, Duracell Corp Top Batteries. So, yeah, you can find them. They're like dollars, guys. It's easy, but I already had some. I put the, before he got me these, because he had like forgot them when he went to go to the store. Then he had to go back. I really wanted to use it, so I was so impatient that I just took the, the, the batteries from my speaker. I have the top, the little batteries. But I took the batteries from my speaker I just put it in there, so I'm probably like going to try to find the batteries for this because it needs them. So yeah, like I was saying, you're going to need four AA batteries as it says on the box. Um, so once you got that, it comes with two papers of instructions. It comes with a picture form where it shows you how to like thread it and stuff. And then it also comes with the actual information form and tells you which part is which. So yeah, 
yeah, those are your two instruction little manuals or what's in your room. So they in the box, it actually came with like a mini bag, but I actually put everything in this little thing here because I've already used two white bobbins while well, the second one is still in, as you see. And a bobbin is like a, um, it's like where you thread your needle on so that you can actually sew. So, um, I already have this blue thread, I already had this green and red thread from when I hand sewed. Um, so, yeah. And then it comes with an extra bobbin holder, well, like, thing, so that you can put these on there, because these would be too small, and if you didn't want to refill them, so, it comes with this, it comes with an extra needle, there, and then you'll probably have to buy more if you break this one too, but yeah, it comes with extra, and then, it also, so it comes with four, wait, three, yeah, three bobbins already, so it comes with white, I use all this one all up, that's why it's empty, but this is what a bobbin looks like, and I'll show you how to actually put the bobbin in on here, and how to thread it and everything, but this is the actual bobbin. And then it comes with a threader, a needle threader. But I wouldn't recommend use this since it's a mini one and it's like cheaper than a regular sewing machine, of course. The threader will be cheap too. Like I can easily just bend this back. That's not good. So the threader actually broke when I first opened it. That's bad. So I wouldn't recommend using this. And it's missing a part. But so this is um, the black stuff that it came with. Once you open it, it also has something under it. So it was already threading everything, but I threaded to see how to thread it. Um, and then I already had these needles, but those were like sewing needles, like hand sewing needles. And I have some paper clips and random things in there to hold the fabric together when I need to sew a certain part. So then it comes with one black bobbin of thread so yeah it gives you a lot of cool handy stuff you will have to buy your own thread uh two just so you will have extra stuff but i just keep that all in this little compartment and it's perfect so yeah so there you go okay so now on to the sewing machine I'm going to show you how to thread this bad boy, and yes, it does work. It works, trust me, it works. But, um, I'm going to show you what each part means and everything like that, so, let's go. Okay, so this is the brand tools that I was talking about, um, and it's so craft mini, but this is how big it is actually normally is it's about like almost like eight inches towards seven inches it's not as big so it is very portable it has a little weight onto it but i mean it's not like ooh, i can't carry it so it's actually a pretty good size for a beginner like that. so like i said this is the bobbin right here this is the on and off button this over here is the needle and the footer, which a footer means like something that goes under it to sew. So that's the footer. And then here is where you put your batteries in. Down here you can take this out. Hold on. What happened at the New Orleans? And you can actually take it out, eclipse or whatever. And then in the back here, this is where you would charge it if you had the actual charger. Or this would, you would um, use as a pedal. And a pedal, is that comes on a real sewing machine where like you use the pedal instead of the on and off button to actually sew. But yeah, so that's that. So then this top screw up here uses to bring the needle up and down, up and down. 
so like if you need a thread you need to, you can easily bring it up and if you need a thread you, and if you don't you can like after that you can just bring it back down and it just helps you also once you're done sewing get your thread out and everything like that so then this little flicker right here this brings the footer down and up so as you see this thing is down so the footer is down but when I pop this up the footer goes up so that you can easily slide your fabric through but make sure when your footer goes up you also twist this to bring your needle up so you won't break your needle so then you can easily put your fabric through and then once you're done with your fabric you can bring your needle back down into the little hole in there and then just pop this right back there, there you go you can sew any way you need to. Okay, so it only comes with like one certain stitch, and that is a regular stitch. Like it doesn't, it doesn't like do all the zigzags and all the cool designs. That's on a regular. But, but the one from Walmart, it does have like the zigzag design, and everything. It was bigger, so it can contain more thicker fabric. But right now, if you're such a beginner just use this so this is the stitch this is how the stitch would look as you see stitch top view and stitch bottom view that was that is how the stitch will actually look so how to thread this thing so you would put your bobbin in here so you would pull to un to, to take this bobbin out it's okay if the spring pops out because you're gonna put it back in so, so I'm just gonna wrap this back up real quick just so I can show you. This is so easy. It's it's just so easy. okay. So you will take your bobbin of white thread, black thread, gray thread, yellow thread, whatever, and you will actually put your spring back in here. So. Put it back in there, as you see, it will hold. And then you want to put your pull. And the reason why I gave you an extra one is just in case if you have like your own thread, you can actually. But you will put this through there. And, you see. and then you just put it through the, the little spring, and it will automatically lock. So. So now you have your bobbin on. So then you will just follow all the steps. So you will go here to this and behind there. Behind. And then you will go through this little hoop right here. This little hole right here. And you will put it through there. And the real sewing machines actually have a uh, um, automatic threader like to put in a needle but not to actually thread through the sewing machine and then you um put it right here in the back here on this one and then you go right here <laughs> so I'm gonna figure this out real quick. Okay, so I just had to bring my needle up for me to actually see. So yeah, that's right. What happened? So I'll be looking like this. And then you're going to put it through the needle. So I would prefer you cutting the ends of your thread since if you don't have your needle threader or if you can break it. Uh, if you don't have a needle threader and it doesn't work, just cut the ends off. Give it a little moisture. And just slide that needle right It's gonna take a little crap. So I bring it up. Okay. 
gonna take a little force and moisture to get it through. Almost got it. Okay. Okay, so I got it. I got it through there, and then you can just set it to the side. So then you'll pick this up, put your fabric in, and just start sewing. You see, and it's really cool. It's a really cool thing to use, and I'm gonna be starting doing DIYs on it. And yeah, so I'm gonna show you how to just sew a straight line on this little heart thing that it came with. But it actually came with square, but I couldn't do a heart. But I actually sewed this out, sewed this outline of shorts here. But it's for like kids. It was uneven, so I had to sew it very weirdly. But yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, so I'm gonna practice on this little heart. So I want you to sew it. Okay. So whenever you're going to, where's the heart? Where is the? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. So. You wanna get your little fabric or whatever? Make sure it's thin. That is. And you want to push your little thing up so that you can easily put your fabric through. Now, okay, so make sure your needle's up so that you can, uh, so you won't break your needle. So now remember, when you're sewing on a sewing machine, you always sew sideways. So wherever you're going to sew, make sure you put it that way. Because if you don't, it's like... So to hold it, to hold it, wherever you want your needle to start sewing, make sure you push it all the way up. So I'm going to push that down. I want to bring my needle all the way to it. I'm going to start sewing. I'm going to push this button, and you can do it, press it, stop, stop, and I'm also going to show you how to stop it, but will like tie it off or whatever um so i'm just gonna keep it just set. bring that up so, so to tie it off you're gonna bring it up shot slide it back over a little bit and just like sew back and forth so that you can actually tie it off Okay, so now we need to sew off and it will automatically something that looks like a knot in the back. But so that's the actual stitch. I can't believe I actually did a straight line like God is good. But that's the actual stitch. It's really cool and that's the actual back. So, yeah, that is how you use this little mini crafty sewing machine. I hope you guys actually try to go buy one. But, yeah, I will be doing a bunch of tutorials. So, I hope you guys like this video. And let's go on to the outro. Okay, guys, so I hope you guys like this video. Like I said before. But, um, yeah, so, hope you, like, pick one and go get a mini sewing machine. Because it's, like... The bomb. It takes a little while to practice, but it's totally the bomb. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!